At Kennedy Space Center, four astronauts are scheduled to lift off just about an hour from now, headed to the International Space Station, replacing the crew that returned to Earth on Monday. Mission Control says as of now, the SpaceX flight is good for launch. Morgan Brennan covers space for us. Morgan, what do NASA and SpaceX hope to gain from this mission? This is another big mission, Shep, and tonight at 9.03 Eastern, if all goes according to plan, SpaceX will send Americans Raja Chari, Tom Marshburn, and Kayla Barron, as well as European Matthias Maurer, to the space station in SpaceX's fourth mission, carrying people for NASA under the commercial crew program. Now, they are already on board. They are inside this brand new Endurance Dragon capsule. They're completing checks right now. The hatch is already closed, and soon the Falcon 9 rocket that will launch them will begin fueling. So this crew will arrive at the station tomorrow night for a six-month stay in orbit. They're going to be conducting experiments, performing spacewalks. Crew 3 was delayed, as you mentioned, several times from an original launch date of Halloween. And this comes after the return of Crew 2's four astronauts via splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico just on Monday night. You know, Morgan, another big story on the NASA front announcing the return to the moon will be delayed. What's up there? Yeah, so this was not a complete surprise since the original target of 2024 to put American boots back on the lunar surface had always been seen as real, very ambitious. But the timeline has pushed back now to 2025. This is at the earliest, thanks to not enough funding, the pandemic, and the agency's legal fights with Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, which unsuccessfully protested SpaceX's multi-billion dollar contract to build a lunar lander. And Shep, even 2025 is ambitious because there will need to be multiple missions testing all of the spacecraft, including the Orion capsule and the super powerful rocket, the SLS, before astronauts can actually land on the moon. So we have this launch tonight here. There's another one in New Zealand. But the unique part of that launch is how they're going to retrieve the rocket. That's right. It's it's a really busy week for space. So even <laughs> later tonight, another emerging space heavyweight, Rocket Lab, is looking to complete the 22nd mission <clears throat> of its small electron rocket. It's going to be lofting two commercial satellites to orbit. But the part of the, and this is what they call it, the Love at First Insight mission, is expected to get the most attention is the attempted recovery of the booster as the company is working to, like SpaceX, make its rocket reusable. But unlike SpaceX, which relands those boosters, Rocket Lab is hoping to eventually be able to pluck its booster out of the sky huh. with a helicopter as it is falling back to Earth. Now, it's not going to actually be able to do that tonight, but it's going through the process. It will have a helicopter on scene as it continues to work towards that goal. That'll be fun to watch when they get there. Morgan, as always, thank you.